I want to say and I want to give a big shout out to all the Snyder fans. Why? Because we are holding on to hope. And not only hope, but along with hope, we have a lot of faith. We have a lot of endurance. And most of all, we've been patiently waiting because things will improve and things will get better within time. We didn't give up for the Snyder Cut. We haven't given up for the air cut. We haven't given up for Restore the Snyderverse. That just shows you that we are passionate fans and we love and enjoy what we're fighting for and what we're defending. A lot of people might not be down with it and that's cool. That's just a minority. But the majority of us, including the general audience, wants more of Zack and wants more of what we had with the DCEU. And some of you might be like, well, how is it that you think and you're so sure that the Snyderverse is going to make a comeback? Like I said, and I will continue to repeat myself. Very simple. The same way that the Flash has the power to erase or restore anything, that is what can be done. When we saw in Justice League, like I said previously, Justice League was a disaster. But what we got with Zack Snyder's Justice League was a much better, improved final version that we got. That alone erased everything that was from before. And we got what we have in Zack Snyder's Justice League. And the same thing. They're right now trying to erase everything with Zack. And of course, that's what James Gunn is trying to do. But instead of improving, all it's doing is just destroying overall the DC brand. It's making the studio look terrible because right now, honestly, WB with this whole DC Studios is just embarrassing, you know? You have the fans that are so divided. Everything is just completely controversial one way or the other. And that's just within one studio. Now, when we saw that WB announced that they're working and they're bringing Zack to do a prequel to 300, the stocks immediately shot up and everything started going up. And don't come here and try to tell me, oh, well, that was just because of this and that was because of that. No, lies. With Zach, it's a brand because he's over at Netflix and the numbers don't lie. The stocks are always high. They continue to grow. So investors are investing more into this, into those stocks. So people want more of it. Not only that, but Netflix is winning with those numbers. Meanwhile, DC, WB continues to sink. Disney continues to sink. And it's so bad that they have to partner up and offer now a bundle for the fans to buy to try to get their products. That alone shows you that they're both weak. Now, when you have Netflix doing things how they're doing and succeeding, there's no stopping it. And that right there shows you that the numbers don't lie. And the only way to be successful is to stay in the green. And that's what Netflix is doing. Meanwhile, WB and Disney are both in the red and things continue to fail and flop. And it's why? Because they're doing it themselves. They brought this upon themselves. The studio has not listened either side, WB and Disney, to the fans. They want to give and cater to some type of agenda or I don't even know what the audience is that they're trying to reach out and trying to please. But we the fans are not dumb. We the fans are not blind. And they know it. That's why the numbers don't lie. Overall, in the end, the Snyderverse is going to get restored. And I have faith and I have hope that something inside the studio is going to change for the better. The same way that everybody was doubting and denying that the Snyder Cut would never be released, that it was the unicorn, it's just a fairy tale. And boom, what do we have now? The Snyder Cut. Physical copy. HBO Max, there's no stopping us. This is why we continue to fight and defend what we truly, firmly believe in, which is more of Zack Snyder and the Snyderverse. That's why Netflix is winning and they're being so successful over there on their streaming service. And there's no denying it. Have faith, have lots of patience because it will make a comeback. There's no stopping it. Every day we grow more and more and more people are wanting to see and want to know more about it. People are just curious. More people of the general audience, new generation people 
you know, they love and enjoy what we were getting before. But yeah, these are just my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Hit that subscribe, drop your comments, and until next time.